Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another full case break of 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number five. This is Hobby Edition. Big thanks to Scott, Last Spot Mojo Astros, to say picking up the Angels straight up, Daniel Batera picking up the Yankees straight up, everybody grabbing their teams. Thank you, everyone, for getting into the action. All the high rollers getting into the mix. The medium rollers, the low rollers. Takes everybody, so thank you very much, everyone. We've got another full case break of the uh, Hobby Edition in the store. So for those of you who are watching the live stream right now, you can pop over to the website really quick and pick up your teams. If you're watching the replay on YouTube and you're like, Joe, my team's gone already. Here's all 12 boxes. I'm sorry. Here's all 12 boxes right here. Four, three, 12. If you're watching the replay, hi, YouTube, and you're like, Joe, my team's gone. Come on. Don't worry. We've got, we've got more cases after Pick Your Team 6, so just keep your eye out for the next one next time. All right, all Toussaint wants is an Otani auto. Yeah, I think that's what every person who buys the Angels is going for. Believe it or not, man, we have not seen one yet. And we've done, this is our fifth, we've done four cases of this, and we've done a number of breaks of the three box jumbo, the HTA edition. So, we are due. It's got to happen sooner or later. Uh, yes, Derek, I will post more Pick Your Teams tomorrow. Once six sells out, we'll post seven. All right, box number one, first two mini boxes. Good luck, folks. And we're going to start off with Lucas Sims to 150 for EA and the Braves. There he is, late first rounder. We got Tyler Maley for the Red Legs out of 499. We'll top load those, of course, before they get shipped out. Adam Hazley. And the next autograph is going to be right here. Brendan Little for the Cubbies. That'll go to Greg and the Cubs. That's the autograph. Who says looking for? We'll send you one of those though. Dustin Fowler, gold, ten out of fifty. That card is gold. D Mac with the A's. Chad Pinder, refractor, and purple shimmer. Anderson Espinoza, more Otani. Otani for Toussaint and the Angels. Espinoza for Big Boys 007 and the Padres. And who has the Redbirds? Ryan Krause with the Cardinals. All right, next box.
Not too much baseball action tonight, folks. Thursday, usually a travel day for all the baseball teams. The Astros-Orioles game rained out. I think they got rained out. Kansas City uh, beating the Indians 2-1 in, uh, in the 10th inning. Looks like some sort of walk-off. I had a financial interest in Kansas City, so thanks, Royals. Twins beat the Tigers 9-3. Had a financial interest in the Tigers. Come on, Tigers. Also had a financial financial interest in the Pirates. Got shut out by the Cubs 3-0. Cubs staying alive. Staying just ahead of the Brew Crew. I had a financial interest in the Mets. And they won 4-1. They beat the Braves. Rockies not helping my Dodgers out. Or the Phillies not helping my Dodgers out. Losing to the Rockies. 5-3. So the Rockies... Gaining a little bit of an edge. Gaining a little bit of edge on my Dodgers. Yankees blew out the Rays 12 to 1. And looks like they're going to the bottom of the ninth in Seattle, Texas leading 2 nothing. All right, and we've got nice orange shimmer, Kyle Young for the Phillies. That goes to Josh Pruce. Phillies with a good season. Although I think they set the bar of expectation kind of high now. Kind of fell short of a playoff spot this year. But nice 25 out of 25. I did see that, Eric Bailey. CeCe Sabathia miss, uh, missed a $500,000 bonus. That's why teammates love him. Francisco Mejia at 250. Joe Perez for the Astros at a 499. Because he was two innings short of hitting that bonus. Because he was thrown out of the game because someone threw at one of his teammates. He had to retaliate. Plunked him. Got booted out of the game. Missed $500,000 bonus. He's made a lot. He's made a lot of money. There were some lean years for C.C. Sabathia too where he was cashing big paychecks. Not playing that much. And Nicky Lopez is your second autograph out of this box. That'll be for Jeremy Carr and the Royals. Was it a Bush League play? I didn't see it. <laughs> or was the ejection Bush League? Was the first... I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see actually what transpired. All I know is that said, hey, he stood up for a teammate. thought that was cool, sacrificing $500,000. I don't know if I'd do that. I'll be like, I'll get him in spring training next year. There's Jeter Downs to 655. Purple Shimmer. And on to the next box. The Mariners are known for late-inning heroics, ladies and gentlemen, so... I should have changed the channel to MLB Network before I started this break. Too late now. So I'll just have to use GameCast right now. Looks like bottom of the ninth, down by two runs. They've only managed three hits against the Rangers pitching. But they've got a man on first already, no outs. an eye on that game. All right, so what happened here? So Hanig Mitch Hanniger singles on a ground ball to center field. And then Gene Segura flies out to center. We've got Robinson Cano up. One swing in the bat. Robinson Cano would tie, tie this game. All right. So the first bit here. Well, the autograph is close here. It's a nice gold auto. Sao Ching Shang. 
Wait, did he sign his previous ones like this? Five out of 50. Weren't the other ones signed in English, I thought? That's pretty cool, though. Maybe maybe I'm not remembering. Josh Proust with the Indians. Maybe I'm misremembering. Brian Dozier, Refractor, Twins Edition. Is Tanner Scott a little different? No. Some of, the, some of those could be serial number, too. Out of 499, Brian Dozier. Those should be done already, like that that night. We 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 did them that night. If you haven't received it yet, well, if you paid with a if you paid with a card, then it may take a couple days or so for your bank to uh, to get those funds back to your card. But if you paid with your PayPal balance, it should have been instant. Trevor Steven. Out of 150, Josh Bell. Richard, you hit $1,100 on a $4 bet in FanDuel because you played Aldrich Robinson? That's pretty nice. What was the, what was the rest? Did you, did you win the, did you win the uh, tournament you were playing? Out of 655, Gavin Sheets. What did the winner get? It's Luis Urias. Look, still looking for this guy's autograph. Where are you, Shoei? Wow, first out of 7,440. Congrats, man. I don't think I've ever gotten that... Oh, an 11-way tie? I'll take that. Oh, the ties are the worst because you always think, oh, if that one guy just got one more reception, that extra point could have, would have, should have. Hey, $4, $1,100, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm terrible with Daily Fantasy. Like, I'll usually win, like... I, I, haven't, I haven't even played this year. But usually I would get... I, I will, I'll win, like... I don't know, I'll play, like, dollar, two dollar tournaments or whatever. Inexpensive ones. I'll maybe, like, get 50, 60 bucks in one of those. And I'll stretch that through the season. And I never win anything else. That's about, that's about it. It's tough. All right, so who did, you, who did you have? So Richard L. had Goff, Cousins, Cup, Gurley, and Aldrich Robinson. Wow. The Aldrich Robinson was the key. That's the key. You had to take you had to take Goff. Cousins was kind of an interesting choice too. But Goff and Gurley, you kind of had to take those two guys. Most everyone's had those. And then right, Eric Bailey saying Cooper Cup had to have has his best game as a pro tonight. That was huge. And then Aldrick Robinson. I mean that him starting off with a touchdown. I think he started off with the first touchdown, right? That was huge. Two touchdowns, I think, on the day. There's Willie Abreu. That's right. More money to buy breaks. See, you're ahead now. It's a good time of year to have a little windfall. There'll be all sorts of new releases coming out over the next few months. 55 out of 150, Willie Abreu for the Rockies. Paul Cool Whit with that one. Billy Hamilton, Refractor to 499. Labor Torres. I don't think we've seen his auto yet. We've seen a couple Estevan Floriels, though. We've got Jose Albertos for Greg and the Cubs. Uh, 
All right, so and the Mariners are done tonight. Looks like Cano flew out, and Nelson Cruz struck out swinging, stranding a runner on first. Ty uh, Texas Rangers win. Rangers win. Rangers win. Mickey Moniak at a 6.55. There he is, your first overall back in 2016. He'll be working his way up the ranks in the Phillies organization. All right, next box. Yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta look at some of the. Uh, Look at the box score of this. Hi, Rex. What's going on? Rex is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 what? So was someone was saying that Goff had a near is that a is that a perfect passer rating? I don't know what a perfect passer rating is. Is it 160 or something? Because some I think Aikman mentioned it on the TV broadcast. I think one of the post-game uh, girl, man or woman, had, had mentioned that too. I forget who it was. Someone did. 158.3 was his rating. Goff went 26 for 33. I mean, which is great. 465 yards. Five touchdowns. Zero interceptions. Just one sack for nine yards. So offensive line keeping him clean too. Both defenses played soft. Yeah, I only only got to saw like pieces of the game as we were we were breaking throughout the day. I got to watch the, the the replays, the highlights. Todd Gurley, seventeen carries, eighty three yards. I think there was, I was listening to some podcasts, I think maybe the ESPN Behind the Bets podcast, one of the fantasy expert guys or data guys were on, I think he's on the fantasy show, um, and he was saying, I think it was, he said, I got a good prop bet for you guys to take, you know, my data shows that Todd Gurley will rush for less than 85 yards or something like that, whatever the prop was, so... So I thought that was interesting. I have to, I have to, I'll have to go back and listen to that. But 83 yards, but he also added 73 yards rushing or uh, pat, receiving. Dar Darwin Zone at Hernandez for the Red Sox. Ricky Buffalo with that one. He's still young. He'll get it. He'll get the. He has to sign right across there. Mike Trout, nice out of 150. And Tony Santillan out of 499 for the Red Legs. So Tony will go to Matthew Bodner in the Reds. Trout will go to Tuse Yang and the Angels. Maybe another parallel mix in here somewhere. Yep, Gold Shimmer, Peter Lambert. Nice, out of 50. Still looking for that guy's auto. Yeah, Flawless is a tough one, Rex. A lot of people did. Some people, few people win. Most people don't. That's a tough one. I, I agree. Uh, the NFL does need to get, a, you know, do away with those Thursday games. I mean, they're they're all about player safety, right? But, but, but then you have them play a Sunday game and then turn around and before their bodies can even recover, have it have them travel and go all the way out to some other city to play there's Jake Rogers 40 out of 99 tired players just make for more sloppy plays sloppy tackles probably more injuries oh wow so NFL Network guy saying that is a perfect passer rating. There it is out of Starling out of 499. Um, Tiger's autograph, that'll go to 
Scott McNulty. There you go, Scott. So I guess that is a perfect pass rating. The last quarterback to do it, Nick Foles, when he threw that seven-touchdown game a handful of years ago against. I think that I think that was against my Raiders. Pretty sure that was against my Raiders. Yeah, the NFL is not worried about player safety, especially when they have them turning around doing that. And they want to add games. And keep the same four, four preseason game lineup. And add two regular season game. And have them play Thursday. And have them travel to like... Well, I guess they do have buys after the international games, right? Like the Mexico City-London games. I think, the, I think both teams have buys after that. So I guess that's all right. But The Thursday night games... I mean, the... the the product on the field. I know you can have, you can have stinkers on a Sunday too. You know that Jaguars Titans game wasn't exactly. It's a Sunday game. wasn't exactly super exciting. But, but if player safety is such a big thing, why are you playing Thursday night games? Or they got to be. Or know, maybe this is a little more difficult. I don't know how this would work out, Eric. But there's got to be like a way to. Not have them play the short week, right? Have them play the Thursday game off a of bye or something like that. You know, so I mean, maybe maybe that would eliminate early season. I don't know. There has to be something. For the hobby, saying go to three downs instead of four, like the CFL. Did they do that? Do they do? Did they change that specifically for player safety issues? Connor Siebold, pay them less so they don't party so much in between games. That'll help. I don't think so. You know who pockets that money? Those owners. You think that goes back to the team? Nope. No, players are probably underpaid. To be honest with you. Relative, relative what the, to what ownership is making. Every owner will cry poor, though. Yoan Mankata, Refractor. Oh, no, of course. They get the big bucks to play the game. I understand that. I think, I think Eric Bailey and I are kind of talking about the hypocrisy of NFL policy. You know, it's not so much as, as like, yeah, sure, go. You, you, you go where you're supposed to play, but... The NFL pretends like they care about player safety when they really don't by making them play these Thursday night games. Nice Estevan Floriel. Daniel Patera. Base auto of him. Strong. That's the next next big name for the Yankees to come up their ranks. Just crazy. There's Chance Adams. 48 out of 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying coddle these players or anything like that. No, they're getting paid big bucks to play a sport. I get it. You know, we pay good money to see them play, blah blah blah. I'm just we're just talking about the NFL and how they treat it. I'd rather just have the NFL say, "Yeah, we're just trying to make money. Get more eyeballs on 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 the NFL." We we don't we hope players don't get hurt, <laughs> but we realize it's a risk. That's, that's admitted NFL. That's what it is. All right. So nice Floriel out of this, out of that box. Next one. To think of a way around that. I mean, let, let's say, I mean, the NFL is probably not going to give up those Thursday night games, right? So let's say we have to live with that. Like, I've, I feel like you got to do something where you can try to work in a buy before those Thursday night games so no one's playing like the Sunday night, like for the away teams, you know, maybe try to work in a buy or make sure you're not traveling to, like, the Vikings had to travel like two time zones, I think, right? I don't know. They had to, they had to, they had to travel a lot. You know, so 
scheduling, maybe they can just work something out scheduling-wise to minimize that. I would like to see half the preseason games for the hobby. I agree with that, Logan. No one, no, no one wants four preseason games. Give us more regular season games. Let's see, owners make money off of that too. They don't want, they don't want to give up a game day. I guess the only thing I could think of is the only thing I could think of is. Uh, Maybe larger rosters, like being able to to dress more guys, just so you have more depth on a squad. I guess I don't know. All right, we got Lolo Sanchez for the Pirates. That'll be for Derek Dowding. Number 10 prospect in the pirate system. Nice. Whoa! An Austin Riley Super Fractor. One of one. Nice. EA Sports. It's in the game with the Bravos and the Austin Riley. That's a huge hit. First rounder in 2015. Late first rounder in 2015. Number 54 overall prospect, Baseball America. It's supposed to be the next star for the Braves. We haven't seen a super yet. No ink, but still nice. EA Sports. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is nice. Greg Soto at 655. We haven't seen a super yet. That's pretty cool. And now we just need to find an Otani, and this is this will be a great case. And instead, we got Travis Lakins. Uh, that's for Ricky Buffalo, though. Is that your second one? I think so. Or maybe you got one in a previous break. There you go, Ricky. And a four, and everyone just wants to see the Otanis. I'm trying to deliver. It's Thomas Nito Refractor. All right, nice. Next one, yeah, we got we, we, we've been getting some good colors so far. A couple nice oranges, some shimmers, some a lot of golds. That super fractor. Going back to football really quick, yeah, I, I agree. I know I like Thursday night games too. Just saying, there's got to be a better way to, you know. To, you know, protect the player, player safety. I like that. I, th that's a, I've heard that proposal before for the hobby, Logan. The 18-game season, but with two preseason games and two bye weeks. I wouldn't mind that. I don't know. 16 games. Well, I guess you're eliminating the two preseason games. I feel like 16 games feels right. When's the last time the when's the last time games were added? The 80s maybe? The late 70s, early 80s? When did, when did we go to 16? I feel like that's a nice sweet spot. There's a redemption there. Any guesses on the on the redemption?
How about year-round baseball? How do you mean, Rex? 11 out of 99, Charlie Blackman and Nick Allen to 499, Refractor. Shohei Otani, Bowman Sterling insert. That'll go to DMAC and the A's. Eleven out of ninety-nine, Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. Paul Cool Whit. No, I think we already went through these. The redemption behind John Duplantier was actually supposed to be one of the top Diamondbacks pitching prospects. Chrome rookie autograph of S. No J. D. Davis, Astros, Scott McNulty, last spot mojo with the Strohs. Dalton Varsho out of 250. And... Glaber Torres out of 150 peaks of potential atomic refractor. Nice. Jake Bowers, Nolan Jones to 655. Wait, where's the auto? There it is. I was like, <laughs> I was nervous where the auto was. Evan Steele, Royals, Jeremy Carr. So our, our, Otani, uh, our, our Otani count still zero. Our Super Fractor count, one. Otani count zero. Yeah, we still we technically still do have year round baseball. I don't know if the I don't know if Rex if if any of the regular if any of the regular players the players would want to see want to play that year round. And when would they ever get a break? But they kind of do. You see a lot of prospects uh, for the Arizona Fall League. And you've got winter baseball in uh, in South America. Winter ball all over the place. They kind of they pretty much do. You could find baseball year round. You're not going to convince the players' union, Rex, to <laughs> to have like the major leaguers play year round, though. It, it would just never happen. Those have two hundred million dollar contracts played every day. So what if they get injured? Because they play every day, then we don't see them every day. That doesn't work. They get paid that much because because they have because uh, they can afford to. Those owners can afford to, and they still and they can still make money. The owners are probably shorting those guys' money anyway. All right. We've got Eniel De Los Santos, 71 out of 499. I'll guarantee you, Rex, if you had it your way, play while injured, have them play in the snow. I'll, I'll guarantee you the, 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 play, the quality of players in baseball will drop significantly. You know, the Giancarlo stands of the world will go and play a different sport. Kyle Young 
the magic spray is more for soft tissue injuries, right? Like muscle injuries, as opposed to like, you can like tear ligaments, break bones. This is Kyle Young for the Phillies. That'll go to Josh Pruce. Chase Pinder to 150 for the Cardinals. Replacement players were for us fun to watch. I don't think so. Patrick Weigel, Weigel, at 655. And Ronald Acuna Jr., who will not be in the Arizona Fall League. All right, DeGrush in the house saying Burger King does not uh, ha give it your way. You ordered a burger and you asked for it for free. They said no. Oh, it was like a so bad it was good. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I think you can do that with movies. I honestly, actually, I, I honestly don't remember. I was. It, did, did they? Did they give us? Did they give us replacement prices for those replacement players? Did ball? Did owners around the country lower prices for ball games? I don't know. I don't remember if they did or not. Call up Rafael Palmero and a bunch of older players in independent leagues and have them amble around the bases. Now, that does not sound like a good product on the field to me. We're almost done, folks. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. We've got Luis Garcia. Nationals. That goes to Jeremy Merle. Is the HCA break next? Is it sold out, Dave? I would love to do it if it's sold out. It's down to 18. There's Max Scherzer for the Nationals as well at a 250. That's another one for Jeremy Merle. Mike Trout, Bowman Sterling. And Lamont Wade for the Twins. That'll be for DMAC. Christian Robinson out of 99 for the Diamondbacks. Green for Michael Golder for the Snakes. Got Jaron Kendall for my Dodgers out of 655. Eric Bailey with the Dodgers. Nice couple hits there. All right. Two boxes to go. So here's the deal, folks. We're by the time this break is over, we'll probably be close to close to the bottom of the hour. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this break away, go through some orders, see who's been picking their teams. I know there I know a few people picked up HTA random team spots of Bowman Chrome Baseball. So after the break, I will give it just however long it takes me to, to 
kind of finish my stuff around the store here. And if we have that random, that three box random team break filled up, we'll do it. It's only a 10 minute break. If not, we'll probably call it a night, just a tad bit early. And we'll reconvene tomorrow on Friday. And we'll, I'm sure we'll do more of this. Bust open cases, talk sports, watch sports, try to pull some big hits for everyone, etc., etc. The usual. All right, we got Jose Albertos, 143 out of 250. It's another one for the Cubs and Greg. Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins out of 150. Royce Lewis. At Marlins Blue will go to Eric Bailey. Let's see if we can pull him some ink too. There's Sheldon Noose for DMAC and the A's. A great season for the Athletics. I don't think very many people called the A's to make it to the playoffs this year. Garrett Cooper refractor out of 499. Chance Adams out of 499. And Brendan Little, Green Shimmer, 38 out of 99 for the Cubs. So Greg with the Cubs gets the Brendan Little. Chance Adams going to Daniel Patera and the Yankees and the Garrett Cooper for Eric Bailey and the Fish. I would like to go uh, marlin fishing someday. I feel like that sounds cool. Catch a marlin. Is that still okay? No, really? Noose is pronounced noisy? No, he doesn't go by that. That's false. I had no idea. I, I'll just call him Meat until he's in the big leagues. MLB should do a Dominican series like they do a Mexico series. Didn't they? No, they went to Cuba. They should. Or Puerto Rico. Where did they go? I'm sure they'll do more of those internet because they they did a they did some spring training game. I remember the Dodgers went and did some spring training games in Australia. I'm sure they'll do a lot. I'm sure they'll do more of that. Wow. So DeGroose confirming. Yes, he does. He played for the Sounds this season. And you heard his name pronounced all the time working there. Noisy. All right. Well, good. I may be, DeGruz, thanks to you, I may be in the 1% of breakers that is, that is pronouncing that name correctly. Nice. See? Level up. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. We have, ooh, we haven't seen one of these yet. 33 out of 50. El Nino is what they call him. And Yel de los Santos. I, I, tr I trust you, DeGruz. There you go. Nice one for the Phillies. That'll be for Josh Pruce. Lorenzo Kane out of 250. Purple Chrome. We've got Darwin Darwinzon 
Hernandez, 277 out of 499. And nice Franklin Perez, Atomic Refractor, Bowman Sterling. 131 out of 150 for the Tigres. That'll be for Scott McNulty, pronounced Tigres. All right, last autograph coming up. And who is it? Who could it be for? It's going to be for the Padres, Austin Allen for Big Boys 007 and the Friars. I think this is Dave's first autograph on the board. You can put it on the board. All right, there's Leote Tavares to 250, Tyler Maley. We've got Great Hurl, 211 out of 655. Brewstar and Ronald Acuna Jr. in the back. And there you go. That's it. Do we, we didn't see a Relic Auto. Does that, does El Nino's autograph, Autografia, does that, does that count as the, maybe this is a one per case? Sort of deal? Must be, because we didn't see a Relic Auto or a Relic only. But there you go, folks. And the Super Fractor was nice. The Austin Riley. A nice break overall. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining. Uh, that was Picker Team number five. Picker Team six already in the store. And I think Eric Bailey was saying it's already down to like 16 or something like that. So we'll probably do that too. Uh, we'll definitely, we'll almost certainly do it on Friday. So check that out tomorrow. And we still have time for a little uh, three-box random team break. So get that going. JaspiesHobbyland.com will break with you next time. Bye.